<laughs> this is the number of days that we've heard macOS Pixel 11.1. I literally had just finished recording my follow-up video because I'd started to figure out the ins and outs of macOS Pixel 11.1. And before I can go ahead with the video, Apple decided to drop a bomb. Yes, Apple today released another update and it's macOS Pixel 11.2 beta. At the time I'm recording this video, it's actually available to developer beta testers only. If you're a public beta tester, this is something that's still coming soon. So perhaps at the time I launch this video and you watch it, it could be out soon. Sponsored by Clean My Mac X. It's been uh, quite a busy day for Apple. They released a number of updates. And in fact, if we go to the Apple developer website, you can see the number of betas that they released today. We have macOS Pixel 11.2 beta one, of course, this is the video about that. And then we have iOS 14.4 beta one and iPadOS 14.4 beta one. And we have watchOS 7.3 beta one. That's not all. We also have tvOS 14.4 beta one. All these updates, or all these that you see here, they came out today, so it's been quite busy and I'll be covering most of them on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed, a sub will be great and you won't miss out on most of these updates. Now, for me on my MVP that you see here, this is 2016 15 inch. It came in at around 3.22 gigs and I'm actually updating from 11.1, the official version. So it came in as a small size and this tells you that we actually don't have a lot of changes when it comes to this update and if we go to the about this mark section you can see that the bug that I had on the system report it's actually there you can see that it's highlighted if I close this and go to the system or about this mark section this bug always comes or shows up I don't know why on the previous beta it was there but anyways you can see the software version that we have here so unlike the previous 11.1 you don't have to click on the version here in order for the build number to show up so as you can can see this is the new build number that we have 20D5029F. F, <laughs> F is not the best when it comes to stability so we'll get more into that and then if we go to the storage section and then go to manage storage just to see how much this update is taking just takes a moment to load so as you see it came in as a small size and I expect it not to take much of the system storage so as you can see here system is actually taking up 16.21 gigs which is exactly the same as what it was taking up on 11.1 the official version so no change when it comes to that now let's talk about the new features and changes that you are going to see if you've updated to this macOS pixel 11.2 the first one has to do with the screen that you see obviously you're going to see an analytics screen that tells you whether you want to share your analytics with Apple and app developers and then once you click continue you'll be welcomed by a desktop nothing changed there and then also at the time I'm recording this video right now the full installer isn't yet available we could be seeing a full installer maybe tomorrow or after two days I'll update you on my social media handles once that happens also something that's changed that doesn't have anything much to do with this update has to do with the app store so now more developers are submitting their apps and also meeting the Apple requirement to submit the app privacy practices of those applications so if we look for something like messenger so let's go to messenger right here and then if we click on messenger or any application that has basically been updated you notice that you know you have this section that says app privacy and you can see the data linked to you and if you click here you actually be able to see all the information that this app collects or the privacy practices of this app so there's quite a lot and it's interesting to check out some of these Facebook applications because they actually do take out quite a number of information when it comes to privacy and because of this you are actually going to see quite a number of application updates from time to time you can see the ones that I have here so this is something that's going to happen with various applications as they meet this Apple standard so that's not all if we 
we go into the Apple developer website to macOS Pixel 11.2 to see the release notes, it's actually interesting that we have something like this. And as you can see under the general tab right there, it says that there is no new release notes for this beta update. So this is something that doesn't have a lot of new features and changes, but it does perhaps have quite a number of stability improvements and also security fixes. Right now, at the time I'm recording this video, quite a number of users that have jumped from macOS Pixel 11.0.1 to macOS Pixel 11.1 have had quite a number of issues that they are facing. And those range from Apple Silicon MacBooks to Intel MacBooks. So I believe that this update is trying to aim at solving some of those issues. But this is not an update that's going to be released just like that. It's going to go through quite a number of beta stages. And some of those issues that have been reported are being experienced by some users users from the moment they update their Macs to 11.1 and the first one has to do with slow booting up. So some users have reported that once they update to 11.1 their Macs boot up like Windows computers they take like a long time to update. I haven't actually heard an Apple M1 or Apple Silicon Mac user complain about this. It's mostly those that have the Apple Intel Macs or the ones that have the Intel processors inside them. That's one of the problem. And then the other issue has to do with the frame rate. So with 11.1, there's an issue whereby it downgrades or slow down the frame rate of your monitor when you are using an external monitor. Previously on 11.1, there was an issue whereby for some Mac users that have the LG Ultra 5K display, the resolution was being bumped down from 5K to 4K which is a, an unfortunate thing and also the frame rate was being dropped for external devices so that's also one of the other issue also this is something that we've seen from 11.0.1 i'm surprised apple hasn't yet solved this i think i might actually buy airpods for this so that i test it out and see what's really going on and it has to do with airpod switching some users up to now even with 11.1 are reporting that airpod switching it's a hit and miss and it's especially when going from the iPhone to the MacBook. This is also one of those issues that I believe this update aims at resolving. And also when it comes to the control center right here in the top corner of your MacBook, there's an issue when it comes to the do not disturb. Sometimes you switch it off and then it comes on by itself. And for some users, this is something by the way that I experienced like once. And for some users, they are unable to turn this off. So it's also an issue that this update aims at resolving and also something else that has to do with this section of the screen has to do with quick messages so if you get like notifications from a certain application or from your messages app and you want to do a quick reply sometimes it does not allow you and when it does allow you sometimes and you actually manage to type and send it actually won't send anything and your messages is just like gone in a moment just like that and also some users are experiencing issues when it comes to safari and also when it comes to icloud on the apple m1 silicon macbooks and like i mentioned boot up speed for some users they are reporting to me i think i have about three messages or four on twitter of people that are saying you know my mac is booting up slow what do i do some users are reporting battery drain and the mail app is actually unstable when it comes to like issues as deleting your email and also in certain situations your email signature isn't sent at all and that field is left blank so those are some of the issues that i believe this macOS pixel 11.2 aims at resolving and please do us a favor if you're facing some of these issues just go into the feedback app and then leave some feedback to apple it takes about two minutes to leave feedback and if you do this it actually helps us out and Apple developers will actually get to know that people are facing some of these serious issues. We tend to be, you know, slow in terms of productivity and affect the overall user experience when it comes to macOS. Now, when it comes to performance, of course, I did 
run Geekbench scores to see how my device is performing. And since I'm coming from 11.1, .1, the official version, we're going to be comparing the score that I had there with this one. And when it comes to macOS Pixel 11.2 Beta 1, which I'm on right now, for single core, the GPU score, I got a score of 752. And then also on 11.2 Beta 1, when it comes to multi-core, I had a score of 3079. So comparing this to what I had previously on 11.1, I had 751 when it comes to single core. And then when it comes to multi core, I had 2939. So if you average both those figures, single core and multi core, for 11.2 versus 11.1, you can actually see that this 11.2 is ahead by a factor of 140 by averaging single core and multi core performance. And then also when it comes to GPU performance, I did run Geekbench 5 score just to see how this is performing compared to the version that I was on previously. And for GPU score on 11.2, I had a score of 17,340. And previously on 11.1, the official version, I had 17,716. So you can see that this 11.2 is lower by something like 300 which is not too much but yeah it's worth mentioning and then also we want to look at the battery performance that i've been getting i should let you know that this battery performance that you are going to see is not for 11.2 two beta one it's for 11.1 the official version that i had been on for the last two days as i was testing it so if you go into the about this mark section and then go to the system report and go to where it says power you can see my cycle count 302 and my state or the battery condition you can see that it's normal and then if we go into the system preferences and then go to where it says battery right here you can see my last 10 day usage if we go here and just look at this so in the last 24 hours you can see the sort of the battery drain that i was experiencing it sort of makes a v-shape right here and this is the time that you can see here so started testing battery performance today and you can see that basically i started like somewhere around eight o'clock and my battery lasted all the way to around 2 p.m so that's an average of about five to six hours and it's not the best because before on 11.0.1 i actually used to get something like eight to nine hours and then if you go to the last 10 days you can see my battery usage that i've been getting this is for tuesday and as you can see there was sort of a bug because i actually know that i was testing the battery usage here on tuesday and there's no screen on time which is kind of surprising but if we go to wednesday which is today you can see that i used 100 percent of my charge and I actually got about seven hours of screen on time. So this explains this V-shape right here. So it's actually not the best cause this is the battery performance of 11.1. .1. It wasn't the best. And I'm going to be doing a follow-up video when it comes to this 11.2, just to see if it did really improve on this battery drain issue that quite a number of people are facing. Now, whether you should update or not, this is not an update to rush for. If we look at the build number, go to the about this mark section, you see an F. F when it comes to the stability grades is a bad grade. It's like a fail. So I wouldn't really encourage you to update to this uh, build number that has this version here. And also another reason why I wouldn't encourage you to update right now is that right now it's been like two days. This update came out quickly. It's something that was rushed. And on top of that, it doesn't have a release note. So we can't be certain when we see the next update because if we go to the calendar app on the Mac, you can see that today is the 16th of November and next two weeks will be the last two weeks of December. And basically Apple likes to take these last two weeks off and then they come back swinging in January. So I do not expect this macOS Pixel 11.2 to be released before next year. We still have quite a number of beta stages and the transition stage that we'll go through 
before this comes out so if you update you might be stuck on a bad update for quite some time which could affect your productivity other than that let's hear a quick word from the sponsor of our video today this video is sponsored by clean my mac x it's an all-in-one utility that takes care of your mac's health and speed it also has a real-time mac OS cleaner performance monitor malware remover and so much more it makes it easy to remove hidden junk in your system and keeps your mac applications up to date and removes the unnecessary junk files it's now also available on the app store so you can always check it out and i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that will take you directly to that other than that that's about it for me when it comes to mac os pixel 11.2 beta if you like this video a like will be good but a sub will be better stay safe and i will definitely see you in one of my other videos peace